Welcome to everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Ethereum. We were talking about this potential of a breakdown yesterday and it has happened. So we're going to be discussing what we think is going on here and where we think this could be going. So let's get into the price action. So what we were talking about previously was potentially coming down into the zone of this 1976, looking at this potentially as an A, B, and a C. So we're looking for a fourth wave here. Technically speaking, this is still viable as long as we don't cross this zone of this 1942. If we cross this area of this 1942, it would um, throw the count out and we would have something else potentially going on here. Uh, what we could still see here, if we if we fail to actually turn around before crossing this zone, is we could actually see that there is further extension within the waves, where we actually see an additional structure here, looking for one and a two, and then looking to push to the upside. So we're going to discuss that as well. What we do need to be careful of is the way that we have actually broken down here. So we're going to go over. I'm going to actually go over the support zones first. So currently we are sitting just in the zone of this. 1976 we have crossed this we're looking to actually come back into this channel and we've actually overshot it now so there could be a couple of things playing out here like i said you know potentially this could even be another one two in here um or really until we actually cross this wave one high we can still look for that potential to have a move to the upside for a fifth wave but we need to just um talk about that bearish structure in a second so that would be the zone we're looking for here we wouldn't really want to come down too much lower we don't have a lot of space between this um, area of this 1942. if however we do move down here and we find support in this zone of this 1976 to this 1887 potentially what we could have is a bullish structure still that is just developing in a slightly different way where we're looking at this in isolation here as a potential another one too the problem is what we have is looking very much like a five wave sequence to the downside here so it would have to pretty much invalidate itself at this point for me to not look at it like that uh, but really you know we haven't got an additional fourth wave here we just have a three wave move down so we need to just be aware something like this can play out so if we do break down cross that wave one high but actually maintain this low of this 1826 and this 1887 region. Uh, basically, this would be the 0 0.786. We don't really want to lose this zone. We want to keep this for, you know, keeping this count alive. If we do hold this zone, potentially we could still look for a much bigger push to the upside where we form an additional 1-2 here. And this would just fit into that, uh, that higher time frame count here. We'll be looking for that possibility of you know getting up towards this zone of this 2465 for a bigger impulsive structure there is still that potential like i said you know we could still be within that fourth we haven't invalidated it yet but we'll have to just keep an eye on it so i want to see if we can actually you know continue to progress and hold these key support zones uh, in the higher area here so if we fail to hold those support zones what i would be looking at primarily is you know this lower support zone here to hold towards this 1805 to this 1506 if we break down past 1506 really we've got one last sort of support zone here that we can still look to potentially you know find support at and that would be lower down here i'm actually going to just adjust this and put this to this high now um between this 1517 to this 1246 if we do break down past this 1246 area however you know we'd have to be very careful at that point because that would probably indicate that we've just had corrective structure to the upside here and we are potentially going to come back down here and set new lows and continue this bear market so we just need to be careful of that you know potentially there is still there's there's options available where we could still look for you know support higher up here but if we start to lose this lower support range basically that falls apart so what we need to be careful here i'm going to come into the one hour lena and we're going to just turn this back off so what we were talking about previously was the potential of having a breakdown from this high and we were talking about this once we actually had this move up here and i was saying that you know potentially we need to be careful with this uh, we could see this start to break down and it did actually start to break down here yeah, and it has achieved that 1.618 which is sitting here at the zone of this uh, 1979 area so this is a little bit messy i'm going to go over it and um, explain to you what i'm looking for here so i'm looking for the potential that actually we've got extension within here so we've actually come down deep enough now to say that we potentially have completed this yellow wave five but the typical zone I'd be looking for would actually be here between this 1959 to this 1948. So 
if we do continue to push down a little bit more here, what I would be looking for is basically completion into this zone and then looking for additional fourth and fifth wave structures where we could then argue we have another one, two here. And this could then look to take us down to that 1945 to that uh, 1939, sorry, 1931 area. And then we could still be looking for that potential of coming back up with an additional fourth wave. So this really, until we actually break back above this 2030 area, we need to be a little bit careful of that potential that we could just continue to extend to the downside here, where we could, as a potential target zone, I was looking at this as a 2.618. If we do move down towards this zone, this would take us towards this uh, 1904. So if we do continue to break down here and, you know, we don't invalidate this because at the moment we just have a three wave move down, which is fine. That's just a corrective move. But if we start to form these additional fourth and fifth waves, particularly this yellow one here, um, primarily we need to form this blue one. So, you know, we'd have to keep an eye on this. If we get this one, two, three, we come back up here on a three wave move, we break down one more time to this 1945 to this 1931 area and then you know look for additional fourth and fifths we need to be cautious though however obviously because if we do our extending here sometimes these can push through these zones and you know continue to push uh deeper for instance there may be we may still be within this yellow third wave still and there could be an additional fourth and a fifth we don't have that confirmation yet so what I want to see here is how we react. I want to see how we move to the upside. Something similar in size to this in a fourth wave here to the upside in a three wave move would lead me to believe that we're going to see continuation down towards this 1945 area to this 1931. If we do get into this zone, I'll be looking out for potentially a zigzag to the upside, something like this, you know, possibly even can bring us as high as the zone of this 2030 if it ends if our third wave ends within this green box and you know then look for that continuation to the downside for a five wave structure the problem is if we do have a five wave move developed like this to the downside it wouldn't really make a lot of sense in this case unless we actually completed a structure here so what we'd have to then be looking out for is if we do move and we break down and complete into this lower box area i'm just going to throw on this fib here let's put this one into there We'd have to be careful on a retracement to the upside towards this 2090 to this 2024 three wave structure up here could indicate that this is becoming an A, a B and a bigger C wave to the downside or alternatively in a much more bearish scenario, a one, a two, and then we break down for a bigger third wave. So these are the things that we just need to you know, keep, uh, keep in the back of our minds here. As long as we fail to break back above this 2030 area, and get back above some of these key levels, particularly this one here of this uh, 2125, we need to just be careful that we could look to extend to the downside even more here and look to push down into some of these lower ranges that we have. Um, like I said, primarily that 2.618 could be quite an interesting area. If this is going to be a 1-2, that fifth wave could look to complete towards that 2.618 zone. Obviously, if there's further extension, it could push this down deeper. So that's what we're looking for at, you know, like I said, you know, we still have the bullish uh, options here, but really, if this is going to take place, what we need to see is see this hold above those key support zones. Um, if we want to look at this potential of an additional one and a two, we don't really want to lose this 1887. If we lose that, potentially we could be going down to, you know, some of those lower zones that we talked about here uh, in the key supports. This 1805 to this 1506 primarily, uh, but yeah, once we start to lose 1506, then we have the lower range here of this 1246 range at, would be the lowest we want to come. Losing that, you know, the whole move starts to lose its integrity, but we haven't lost such structure up here yet. This could be just a fake out to the downside and we continue to push up. So we just got to just, uh, just be a little bit patient, really. Um, it's still viable as a fourth wave. We haven't invalidated this. So, you know, if we start to turn around here and we form basically, you know, one, two, three, four, and a five back up into this area, what we could be looking for is this fifth wave. If we are looking for a fifth wave and we do turn around here, some potential targets for this 
could be towards this zone of obviously this red box up here 2020 2019 to this 2071 another way we can look at this is that potentially potentially here we could look uh, for the target area of let me just throw this back here fifth wave targets somewhere between this 0 0.382 which would be here this 2113 and this higher range here of this 2212 zone so these two lines are going to be key areas if we do look to reverse up here if we stop at the 0 0.382 we might have something like a truncation one two three four five can't break these highs and then we continue down if it extends out further here we could have one two three four five up into this higher range here and then what we'd be looking for is basically to continue pairing these moves up with the previous structures and uh, basically this move this third wave move would then move up higher here this would be a fourth wave and then we'd look for that fifth wave up so as long as we continue to set these higher lows here and these higher highs you know we can continue to look for this bullish potential here where we're actually looking to extend to the upside but once we start to take in, take these lows particularly this one this 1823 uh, the structure itself starts to really fall apart at that point and uh, we'd have to be careful because by then you know we'd probably have good impulsive structure to the downside to be monitoring okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it is free to join as well as that you'll find affiliate links for both primex bt and bybit down there both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis if you do not have an account using the affiliate link it does help support the channel and we do appreciate it everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care